Okay, welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about my IGCSE Maths Paper 2 tips. So I've gone through my tips for Paper 4 and Paper 6, so please do though check those out above. But today I really want to focus on that non-calculated Paper 2 and three really practical tips to improve your grade and to really think about when you're doing this paper, which is probably the first IGCSE paper that you're going to do this academic year. Okay, so I've taken a really up-to-date paper two here. So this is from November 2021, just to give some examples of exactly the three things I want to talk about today. And the first one is this question here, question number two. And the first thing they ask you here is to work out a prime number. Now, this is a straightforward question to actually find the prime number, but it's very easy to actually get overwhelmed in the moment and look through these numbers and go, oh, maybe it's 91, um, could be 93, could be 97. I'm not entirely sure which one it is. If you get into this state where you're spending even three, four minutes on this question, just stop. So you want to give yourself roughly the right amount of time to do each question. And a one mark question shouldn't take you any longer than two minutes. So if you're finding yourself taking more than two minutes, really have that mindfulness to go, you know what, I'm going to leave that question. I'm going to move on and have a look at another question instead. Right, my number two point is this is your very first paper. So on the majority of the courses you're going to do, of all the different subjects, this is the first paper you're going to do. And you're going to be nervous for this paper. That is going to happen. It's the first time you've done IGCSE examinations. Remember, this is only 20% of your entire IGCSE maths grade. And to take that in um, into consideration. So when you're doing this paper, again, do the best that you can. You've done lots and lots of practice for this kind of paper. But remember, this is the short paper, it's the 45 minute paper, and then really make sure that you do really well on that paper four and paper six a bit later on. Okay, and my third key point here is look for patterns in the paper. Now, I've done this kind of for you already, so if you check out the video above, I go through my predictions for this particular paper for the April-May 2022 exams. So if you're not sure what kind of questions are very common, then do check out that video. Now, you'll see here on the November 2021 paper, a relative frequency question came. This is really, really common on paper two. Likewise, some kind of equation solving like you see in front of you, very, very common. Um, some kind of proportion question, also very, very common. And by identifying these very common topics, you can then almost predict 60, 70% of the paper and the kind of questions that are going to appear. So just to summarize here, so make sure, first of all, that you're not wasting too much time on one particular question. It's generally good advice. Number two, remember, this is your very first paper. You're gonna have some nerves Again, embrace that, just take that on board as you go through to do paper four and paper six. And then number three, make sure you check out that prediction video. That will give you a good basis of topics that you can go through. And if you're really interested in that video, then please check out the video right in front of you.